See, first of all, it is very shocking to see yet another three young UPSC aspirants dying because of the failure of civic agencies. And it is not, the, well, not for the first time this has happened. Before this, we saw another aspirant who got electrocuted. Before this, we saw two kids who got electrocuted. Six people have lost their lives due to failure of civic agencies in Delhi. And when you look towards the people who had the civic agency, they start with a blame game. Honorable Member of Parliament, she visits the sites and she starts targeting the MLA and the councillor. She forgets that the LG is from Bharatiya Janata Party. She forgets that the councillor there for the last 10 years was from Bharatiya Janata Party. What have they done? As a Congress, uh, you know, uh, Delhi representative, I would want a CBI inquiry to be immediately ordered for the deselting funds that have been misused by both these governments. The roads of taxpayers' money has gone down for deselting of Delhi. But nothing has happened on ground. Honorable Delhi High Court Suomoto had to intervene after the first train. But for the last 26 days, nothing has happened. They've only wasted our money in terms of desilting and nothing they've done on ground. I remember during Shilaji's time, I was part of a team. In the month of March, she used to initiate desilting committee in which the Delhi Municipal Commissioner, NDMC Commissioner, DUSIP Commissioner, Delhi Jail Board, uh, Flood Irrigation, they were all part of the team. Local RWS had to sign and send a report that desilting has been done. But today, nothing like this happens. Only blame game happens because of which Delhi is suffering. And you know, the sad part is, because of air pollution, a lot of international tourists have stopped coming to Delhi. And now, after these back-to-back -back instances of young kids being killed due to civic uh, uh, amenities failure, a lot of young kids who come to Delhi to study, to give exams, which add to the revenue of the city, will stop coming in.